Okay, so I haven't installed my new screen capture software yet, and I really haven't had a lot of time to play with um, to play with my new matrix since the new machine's been in. So it's all in, it's all installed, everything's happening. Um, so I took a poke at a render. I found the slowest, the absolute slowest environment I could find, with all the tweaks set to on light bloom and all the rest. And I've set my resolution to the biggest matrix will give me, which is a full HD image, 1920 by 1080. And let's have a look. When I throw 24 cores at it, I've obviously seen this already, but I thought I'd record it for you guys. Okay, I'm going to mesh it out. Okay, done. Watch those cores go for it. Okay, obviously, I've rendered that once already, which is why it's in the background there, but this is starting from scratch. So that's all 24 cores walk, working together. Um, and that's diamond set on high, metal set on high, ground plane on uh, reflective and diffused, and all the tweaks set to on. So everything looks fant uh, fantastic. Um, and then obviously that's a full HD render. A little block got stuck there, must have a duplicate. Okay, done. So let's have a look at that. Let's put a timestamp on it. What are we talking about? 53 seconds. Pretty damn good. Um, I'll try and open that full screen if I can. Can I? No. Okay, view it in... I think... Uh, let me save that. Desktop. at full screen because I have a full HD monitor so where are we? Come on. So there it is in its full resolution on a big full HD monitor. As you can tell a few people scoffed at me for going for a machine that big but it makes your life a lot easier. It really does. Okay, so I can start looking at projects now. I wasn't able to before some rendering projects. Yeah, stones come up really nicely in this new matrix. Um, also, I'm glad to report that my matrix seems to be a lot more stable. Uh, must be just a speed thing. Anyway, Chris out.